Alright, settle down, settle down. Nosworthy, you're one of the reasons why we're here, so uh, I suggest you stop causing trouble. So you're probably wondering what we're doing here. We're actually going to go back and look over our past three games and see where all the things went wrong and I suppose the very few things that went right. So uh, make sure your aisles are peeled on the screen. So here we're against Huddersfield. Great little run there from Hogg. Great little ball played into him from Bellock. Hogg, unfortunately, you need your shooting boots, but that's the kind of thing that I want to see from you boys more often. You don't make enough of those... Um, you, you don't utilize enough of the space or the good runs. Shot there, you know, every now and then you're entitled to an effort, but if you can find the pass, try and give it off, because it's more likely to pan out than a wonder goal. No one likes a hero. So, again... Defensive-wise, we look strong at times, but there's just not enough looking around at times. Everyone seems to be ball-watching. On the attack here, lovely ball for Lita. Lita with a lovely chest down, played to Bellic. Bellic almost getting it there. Uh, you can't really say much about that. The ref maybe should have given something our way, but sometimes it doesn't always go that way. And then who's marking that guy in the middle? There's not enough talking between you, Baptiste and Nosworthy. Who's picking that guy up? He's given a free header. You cannot give him those free kind of headers. And then again, ball watching, boys. Ball watching, and they get another shot. That could have been 2-0 to them there. All before halftime. Do you want to go into games at halftime 2-0 down, having to come back? And then no one getting in front of this guy. He's not that strong. He's not stronger than you. So why are you giving him so much room and so much excuse to run through you? And then again... Terrible, terrible defending almost leads to another goal. The slide tackles in our box are not only dangerous, but they're crap. They're not going to go anywhere, boys. And then here we go again. Unlucky in some respects, but also very, very reckless swinging your legs out like that and giving them away a penalty. I mean, it's, it's not difficult. You show them the line, you don't let them inside, and you certainly don't throw feet at them. Fortunately enough, we don't we get away with that one, and he doesn't get anything off it. And then we go on the attack here. Doily of all people going forward, decent effort. I'm not sure what you're doing in the box, Doily, but I suppose it's not exactly the worst effort I've seen, considering our strikers aren't quite finishing when they should do. But we get a nice little effort here. Abdi, unfortunately, not able to get there. Maybe take a little bit off that ball. We might have had something there. So it's a very it's even games, boys. We're looking like we could easily take it at any moment, but they're also looking like they could take it at any moment, as someone just completely ignores Goburn there, and he gets a free shot on goal. Then again, some sloppy play here. No one really picking him up, just letting him walk by you, and he gets another chance. And fortunately enough, we get away with a point in that one. So, there was a lot to learn from that game. Ball watching. There's too much ball watching, there's not enough thinking, not enough communication. There's no looking around for the other passes and the other balls that you can be played up front. So this game against Leicester, again, not closing him down early enough, some very lacklustre defending there, just giving him far too much space and letting him do you like a kipper is not what I want to see. Again, he's just walking past you. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but you just show him the line. Watch the ball. Don't watch the player. Watch the ball. Another free header goes. And yet another one. And a shot on target. That's three efforts in a few seconds that have been gone uncontested. Lita, good effort there. I ex in all honesty, I expect better from you. You've been finishing some great efforts. And that was really going... That was really had your name on it, mate. But what can you do? Some of them don't always go your way. So we're looking good on the attack. Lovely little run again. This is the kind of play I want to see from you boys. You know, just make that extra run. Hold the ball for an extra second and wait for someone to support and play them through. It's very simple. These defenses are not that fantastic. You know, you can easily find the way through. And Nosworthy, your defense is lacking a little bit, but at least you can header a ball and header it into the back of the net. So I've got to give you some praise for that. But you will be getting a bollocking later on, so don't you worry about that, Sunshine. Again, good defending there. You managed to get the, the, the clearance out, but both of you going to ground there. You can't go to ground in a box. I've said this before. It is dangerous to do that, and it also takes you out of the game completely. Fortunately enough, Almunia is the only thing keeping us in this game. 
I don't know what you're smiling about, Armunia, because it does get worse from here on out. You're not the hero of the situation. Here, just some very, very poor touch, Doily. You just gotta get rid of those. You can't be messing around with that in the box, and Waghorn's made you punish for it. He's punished you for it, mate. And there's nothing you can do. You just, you messed up there. You've given away, effectively, three points. You know, I don't want to put all the blame on you, but you can't be trying to touch those down. You've got to be clearing those as soon as it comes near you, because that that kind of stuff will happen, unfortunately. And then we come to the game against Brighton. Boys, I don't really know what to say about this game. It was just one of those games that things didn't go our way, and there was just a lot of mistakes a lot of mistakes and I don't think I'm gonna find much to praise you about in this one because there was very very little to find to praise you about free header here leads to a goal what have I said about these free headers there's not enough communication between you two at the back you two need to be like brothers in arms you need to communicate all day long I wanna know that you are talking. You two need to know every single detail about each other. You need to know where hair's out of place on his face. You need to know what what boxer size he is. What what he does in his spare time. If he's got a, some sort of fetish for, I don't know, feet. Anything. Just I need you two to be in like inside and out, know each other, and be completely one with each other. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves giving away a lot of silly, silly goals. In the first half, you guys, you made a couple efforts. They were decent efforts. Unfortunately, you couldn't get them away. Things happen. But the defense in this game was absolutely shocking, boys. And that is the big, big key problem. Is we let, away, let goals go away from us far, far too often. When we should be seeing the game out once and for all. Nice little play. This is the this is kind of stuff that you guys need to be doing. And every time you do it, once someone makes that run, you hold the ball up for a little bit, you let someone make the run, it leads to an excellent opportunity. Unfortunately, we need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. But there you go. We managed to get a chance on goal. And then again, back post. Where Where is everyone? Why are you all looking at the ball again? It's another case of ball watching, and it's just very, very silly from you lot that you just don't seem to look around. Here, everyone gets committed. You can't be committing yourself on the halfway line because they're going to outpace you. And there's another goal, a very simple goal given away. This one, this goal here, I... I want to I wanna blame you guys just because that seems to be the theme, but there's not much I can do. You know, I can say you got committed there, but this part is just... It's almost like the game was scripted to go in or something. Like, the ball was destined to go into the back of the net. Despite how much Almunia tried to do something about it, there's not much you could do. But Let's go out there in the next game and let's try and make these mistakes not happen.